Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to share with you a clip from a recent YouTube members live event. If you want to be present during the recording of these live events, consider supporting my YouTube channel. Check out the membership tab and get involved at whatever level you want. In this conversation, we're going to actually answer a comment from the YouTube channel where we were asking, what are people going to do when Chaos Legion moves out of the modern? How are they going to continue to play in the modern league, which is where everyone wants to play because there's such significant rewards there particularly considering the fact that Chaos Legion is a relatively affordable deck and now there will be no more affordable decks, right? Like Rebellion's expensive. Uh, the next deck, whatever that'll be, will probably be expensive. How am I going to stay in this modern league? This is a significant problem, maybe particularly for the newer generation of players. And I want to talk about it today. I think there's probably some paths you're not considering and maybe some opportunities you're not, you're not anticipating that I'd like to share with you. Stick around, stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Have an amazing day. God bless. With the remaining 10 minutes, let me try and grab a comment from the YouTube channel and I'll answer it live with you guys here because I'm first of all, give me content that I can um, that I can put onto the YouTube channel for this week. But second, you guys can speak into the comment. I don't have a comment in mind, but we'll grab something. Let's look for something that's like pretty substantial and also has some good thumbs ups or thumbs down. There's one about the Glint system, but I just recently covered it quite a bit. So I'm going to skip that one. Okay, this is a comment that I is quite small, actually, but it's actually something I've seen more than one person talk about. I want to talk about this. So Marco Marcos XY XYX says, and this was on a video recently where I, I was talking about I'm concerned, but hopeful. And I was talking about it's been difficult to reach into champion, etc., and uh, and I'm you know I think maybe there's probably some like bots happening or there's some battle helpers or whatnot, but I don't I, I don't it's for me that's just conjecture. I don't have any proof, so uh, you know it, for all I know it's just my lack of talent. But Marcos is saying a topic about modern, and he goes, "What are your thoughts about potential for Chaos Legion going into the wild? It's not even a it's not really a potential. It's going to happen." So let's talk about that reality because it's going to change a lot of people's access to modern. What do I mean? And, and let's read the rest of the question. I was having these this thought because I have a chaos deck and when it shifts out, I don't know if I'll be able to buy a new rebellion deck with my earnings. Thanks. This is this is a key, key point. And I've heard some people talk on it or mention it maybe briefly, but I don't know if I've seen anybody really do deep dive on it. So let's spend about you know five to 10 minutes on it. I think this is worth thinking through. The point he's making is like, look, my Chaos Legion's cards are significant, powerful, meaningful, and and they have got me into a place of relative strength. Maybe I play in Diamond or Gold or Champion in Modern based largely. We just saw Vet V saying, Brandon said that his deck is 100%. He has the, all of the Chaos Legion. He has all of the Rift Watchers and he has most of the Rebellion. That means that Chaos Legion is critical to upper level success in modern right now. And modern is the place to be. We just saw 43 SPS per win at the highest levels of modern. So that's crazy. And 22, 2300 Glint, I think it was, which is crazy compared to 300 in gold. So clearly modern, the highest level of modern requires a max Chaos deck. And here's the thing, Chaos cards are cheap and inexpensive. I know from my own personal data, I'm gonna pull it up here for a moment. I have a card collection journal here. I'm going to post it, but I'll tell you my current chaos, like as of uh, March 25th, which is two weeks ago, my chaos cards were worth $7,000 and they have been as high as $15,000. Like that's May of 2023 all, all the way to now. And so I'll post that and show you guys. So right here we see my Chaos Legion deck back in May of 2023 was at $15,425 and it slowly declined, not really slowly declined, but significantly declined, you know, reaching a bottom in November of last year and then coming back up, but then coming right back down now to that, that low bottom, lower than that low. Mind you, I sold a lot of my Chaos Legion cards, probably $1,000 worth of Chaos Legion cards, so these numbers are a bit skewed. Regardless, Chaos Legion cards are really inexpensive. And I have a max level Chaos Legion deck. So you can see that a max level Chaos Legion deck is going to be probably 5,000 bucks US. $5,000 is a lot of money, but it obviously unlocks a high level of success in this game. And it also 
is way cheaper than Rift Watchers. It's way cheaper than Rebellion. I just showed you that my Rebellion, I, maybe I should show you that quickly. My Rebellion cards, my Rebellion cards, these are my Rebellion cards. These are my Rebellion legendaries. The ones that are bright or I actually own, but I don't have Chaos Golem. I don't have Endurance Rune. I don't have Venka the Vile yet. I guess nobody does. Nalara I don't have and Mantaroth I don't have. Those are key cards I don't have, especially Mantaroth. And then you, I don't have Grimbard and Smith. That's a very key card. And so there's absolutely integral cards I don't have. And yet I have, so I probably have 40% of the Rebellion set, maybe 35, 40%. And my Rebellion set is 2,700 US dollars. Whereas my Chaos Legion set is 7,000. But remember, not all of those cards are integral or really, really necessary. So I'm saying six to $5,000 to $6,000 to get a really quality Chaos Legion full set. Probably 9,000, I bet. Maybe even, yeah, 9,000, I bet, to get a full Rebellion set. And that then means you're not even going to have the airdrops necessarily either. So you'll need to buy those later or earn them by staking through, um, through Mage Wagons. Suffice it to say, Rebellion is way more expensive. Rift Watchers is quite expensive too. Chaos is super cheap, but it's going to roll out. And then will people even be able to play? I, I think we just spent five minutes summarizing the problem, unfortunately, but I'm going to try and quickly answer the question. I think a multitude of factors need to be thought through. One is that Chaos Legion are not going to be cheap forever. So you as an owner of Chaos Legion, if you continue to hold them, I believe you will see price appreciation on those cards. You might say that's never been shown, that's never been proven. And that's true. I can't hold up a past moment where Chaos Legion cards went up and stayed up because frankly, they've always gone down. But I'm of the opinion that those Chaos Legion packs that exist that are not open, which I think there's like 2 million of them, are going to at one point be opened. And that's going to be a slow and steady process where it's going to lead us to a place of more and more scarcity and more and more price appreciation. That's my conviction, even though it's moving out of modern. I'm also convinced that we'll see more and more players come to the game, which will mean that those cards you hold will drive up because of demand. And so for those two reasons, I would argue Chaos Legion will appreciate, even though it's going to move away from modern. Now, is it going to appreciate in the same way that Rebellion will? Probably not, because Rebellion is far more scarce. I'm saying that I think there's probably a path into the future, depending on player adoption, as well as increased scarcity because of maybe burn mechanics or, or new burn events that lead to a place where the the people that are in the high modern relying on Chaos Legion primary decks are going to find a new path into modern through whether it's Rebellion or the next set to come. Because the next set to come will be a new opportunity to buy packs in, and move in as well. And so I think you're going to see price appreciation on those old cards. Some of them you can sell and you will sell. And that'll lead into new opportunities to buy, whether it's Rebellion or the future next set. That's one piece of it. But another piece of it is that Rebellion prices, I didn't really fully explain this, but I think the Rebellion prices will not, they'll not, they're not going to do a straight line up. So far they've gone up or held the value. And that's been generally true with Rebellion. But I don't believe that they will forever stay that way. I think part of why they've gotten the stability they've enjoyed has been a product of the Mage Wagons. But the Mage Wagons will come to an end, and we know that the Summoners are sort of that next level. Uh, the airdrops for the Summoners are the next level. But they're not going to last forever. We got six more months of that. And when that ends, I really believe there'll be a certain amount of people that will say, I don't really want this huge Rebellion collection. Or they've bought extra cards that they don't really need they've they've held on to them one because the prices have been reasonable the re rentals have been significant and the mage wagon um airdrops have been have justified it let's say but when the airdrops go away one major utility for rebellion slips away and so i bet you see a depreciation of rebellion toward the end of the airdrop which might actually be a space for someone like you to move into that place while st so you can still enjoy rebellion uh, i mean modern and that new set that we don't yet know about will have a certain price point and that might be an interesting opportunity and there might be grim barden smith types cards or mantaroth type cards that really are meaningful and meta and so they they one or two or five key cards can really open the door for high level success in modern you're always going to need to have sort of a core of something 
Maybe that's going to be Rebellion and you'll see a moment during the transition. Maybe it'll be the new set. But I do think your question is sort of founded on a presumption that Chaos Legion will always be dirt cheap and then it will never appreciate. It'll never, it's done, it's dying, it's failing. It Once it goes to modern or out of modern, it'll be even worse. And I think there's a lot of common sense to that, but there's one big sort of oversight, which is, are we gonna see player base growth or not? If we do, a lot of maybe these presumptions you're making need to be thrown out the window because it changes and transforms the price predictions around chaos and maybe your options for staying in modern. That's um, the best way I can answer that. And I think it makes sense for a lot of people to think that through because it's like, you're definitely gonna want modern. I think modern's gonna always be the place now where everyone's gonna wanna play because they're doing everything they can to make that the place where we wanna play increased incentives whether it's glint sps etc therefore card rewards because glint is a path to cards and we're going to get a new set of cards which means you're going to want even more to be in modern because you want the higher glint so for all those reasons i think you're going to be fighting to stay in modern and I, but i just wonder if we see massive player base growth if that changes some of your considerations i think i kind of expect there to be significant player base growth but i think that's a conversation that we have to go to around sps and what's that price going to do because that's going to transform who wants to be here as well as who's you know chasing after this game and so uh, that's a broader conversation outside of maybe the scope of the direct answer but i but yeah i do think that is going to be a moment of transition and a lot of people will you need to be paying attention as that's happening because there might be this unique moment where rebellion dips toward the end of the airdrops and chaos is still maybe holding stationary because there's really powerful cards in there and maybe there's an opportunity or maybe you just you know yeah yeah that's what i would say about that thanks for the comment and, uh, and I hope you have an amazing day. And guys, for those of you who are alive, I do have to go in about one or two minutes, but if there's any thoughts on that, I would love to hear it. And otherwise I will set another live event for next week, which is I think the 12th Friday at like 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Brandon, thanks for coming by. Eli, you too. Gathering and Paul, thank you guys for supporting the channel and for always being here. Appreciate you. And yeah, Brandon, look for me on Twitter over the next couple of days here on X. I'm going to post something about how I'm doing there. I'm going to try and see if I can't, I don't think I'm going to be getting up into five thousands or anywhere near champ one, but man, if we can get into champ two, even now, I bet I'd be pretty pleased with those SPS rewards. Thanks again, gathering. Thanks again, Paul, Eli. I appreciate you too. Have a great day. Thanks guys. Cheers. Bye for now.